Hello everyone, welcome to Trellis School Learning. This is Sopnil. Today I will start a new tutorial series on Android. Okay, we will, in this lecture we will understand what is Android is, how to set up Android development environment in your machine, and how to write a simple Hello World program. Okay, so let's go. So Android architecture. Since before this starting with Android development, I just wanted to give you some idea of Android. That uh, Android, what is Android? This is a question. So Android is a not a software or operating system. It is a stack of softwares bind with the operating system. Okay, because Android, we cannot say that Android is a operating system. Okay, Android is not operating system. Android is a stack of software along with the operating system. If you can see on my screen that is Android architecture uh, is there. So if you, you can see that the very first layer, the applications. So Android has Android provides many applications along with application frameworks like Activity Manager, Window Manager, Content Provider, and many more. For now, just ignore it. Just just just. Uh, understand that there is something called an application and for application android provides application frameworks okay along with frameworks there is me there are various libraries available in android along with libraries the kernel with the kernel is based on linux okay so along with this all android also provides something called as dao virtual machine dvm which is used to execute applications okay so this is the android simple this is a simple android architecture now android building blocks start with android just you have to just understand that uh, what are the building blocks of android is so android building blocks you can see there is there is the activity view, intent, service, broadcast receiver, content providers and just above this all we have something called as android manifest.xml so android manifest.xml is nothing but uh, someone who binds this all together okay so if you are not understanding what is activity, views, intent, service, broadcast receiver, content providers just ignore for now in later tutorials we will understand that in details okay so android tools just to start and start with android start with designing android applications you need some android development tools so in market we have eclipse adt and sdk also we have something called as android studio now just i wanted to give you some idea about it eclipse is nothing but ide so in that ide you can install adt android development tool and sdk sdk is software development kit and then you can start working on Android if you want to use Eclipse. The problem is from last October, Google has stopped releasing EDT plugins for Eclipse. Okay, so I would recommend you to go with Android Studio. Now, to start with Android, you should have JDK installed in your system. Once uh, JDK is installed, you can install uh, like EDT plugin, you can add EDT in Eclipse and you can start exploring Android. But if you want to go with Android Studio, then you need JDK and then after installing JDK, when you install Android Studio at that time, everything, whatever is required, it get installed in your system. Now we'll see the steps to install Android Studio. So go to developers.android.com. Okay, on that portal you can see the in right side you'll get a link called Download Android Studio and SDK Tools. Click on that link, you'll get another page. Okay, and that page you can simply click on Download Android Studio. You can see that I have highlighted. If you are going to download Android Studio today, so you will get Android 6.6 6.0 Marshmallow platform, also 6.0 emulator system. Okay, image with Google APIs, then Android Studio IDE, okay, and Android SDK tools. Okay, so as I told you, if you are going to install Android Studio, you do not SDK separately. Also, I would like to recommend that before installing Android Studio in your system, please read system requirements. As uh, like you can see that Android needs 2 GB RAM minimum and 4 GB is recommended. Okay. Like, uh, like, like uh, after installation of Android Studio, like uh, here you can see, it provides something called as emulator also. 
So if you want to work, emulator is nothing but uh, what is it? Uh, after developing your application, if you want to test that, so you can test that on emulator. If you want to use default emulator provided by Google, then uh, you have to make sure that in BIOS setting, your uh, Android virtualization, sorry, your virtualization is on. So that is a little bit uh, tough for, for uh, like uh, to work with BIOS setting and so on. So I would recommend you to install Dynamotion plugin. Okay, and Dynamotion is nothing but another emulator okay, which you will get on uh, will freely available you can install it in your system and you can just add the plugin of genie motion in your android studio and then later you can start exploring android with genie motion genie motion is is lightweight and uh, uh, like it's lightweight so your system will also not get hang if you are using android default emulators then it will be like uh, it is like tough to manage uh, if you have 4GB RAM laptops or desktop, okay. So to install Android Virtual Device plugin, just simply go start Android Studio, go to File, in Files you'll get Settings. In Settings, after going to Settings, you'll get uh, the my left screen, which I'm like oh, the left is in left screen. There's a plugins. So click on plugins. After clicking on plugins, click on Browse Repository, and just after Browse Repository. Just search for Genie Motion and you'll get Genie Motion. So here the install button, you can click on install and after click on install, Genie Motion will get Genie Motion plugin will get installed in your like get added in your Android Studio. And uh, I believe that already you have installed Genie Motion. To install Genie Motion, simply go to Google and search for Genie Motion. In Genie Motion, just go to Genie Motion download link and there you will get get Genie Motion. Okay, if you have virtual box, like uh, if you have Oracle's virtual box and or any VMware virtual box, then you can simply uh, click on get Genie Motion. But if you don't have virtual box, I would recommend to go ahead with get Genie Motion. So if you click on get Genie Motion, so it will install virtual box also and, and Genie Motion emulator also. So if you have emulator and if you have plugin, you can simply start creating project. How do we create new projects in Android Studio? So it is very simple. Go to file, click on new project, and after new project, just put application name and application name like uh, Hello World. Uh, I'm going to start with. So there's a Hello World. Then company domain. Company domain is nothing but suppose if you have some company like uh, Google.com. So you can put your package name like com.google. Okay. Uh, like uh, there are many uh, like if you see Paytm, Paytm.com. So their package name would be com.paytm and company domain would be Paytm.com. So that that is on you that what you like you can just put you can change it later on not a problem and later in like uh, then you can see that project location where you want to save your project so like currently I am storing that in F drive YouTube hello world okay so it will be get stored in F colon slash YouTube folder so click on next after clicking on next you will get a window to select target SDK for which SDK platform you wanted to design your Android application currently I have selected KitKat because I am going to design for KitKat you can choose any you'll get many options starting from uh, what is it you'll get a very first Android there are Honeycomb, KitKat, Gingerbread you'll get many more options there so currently I have selected Android 4.4 KitKat okay then again click on next after clicking on next, you'll get uh, add an activity to mobile. So just for here, just select blank activity. Okay. After selecting blank activity, you'll uh, like your uh, Android Studio will be give you a default screen, which will have your default project. Okay. So that's that's all for uh, starting with Android. In next tutorial, we'll understand aspects and models of Android Studio and Hello World Pro, and we'll write and we'll execute Hello World program using Android. Thanks for watching.